Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm a visitor experience staff member at the USS Constitution Museum in Boston, Massachusetts. And today I'm going to show you how to make and fire an Elka Seltzer cannon. For this activity, you are going to need a container with a lid. I'm using a 35 millimeter film canister, but you could also use a mini M&M container or a disposable salt or pepper shaker. You will also need some Elka Seltzer tablets as well as some water. For my particular container, I'm going to be using half a tablet of Alka-Seltzer and we'll be filling up my container about halfway up with water. Now the reason that we do this activity at the USS Constitution Museum is the way that an Alka-Seltzer cannon works is very similar to the way that Constitution's cannons or guns would fire at an enemy ship during the War of 1812. Now I have a model that kind of shows you how that works a little bit. You have a barrel, and that barrel has one closed end and one open end. Then into the barrel, Constitution's gun crew would load first gunpowder. Then they would load their shot, which in my case is a cannonball. This is a little heavy, so, okay. And then finally, they would put in together a bundle of old ropes that they called a wad and that would help keep everything in place. So once everything is loaded into our cannon, a gun crew member would come over and they would ignite with fire our gunpowder, which would cause our gunpowder to quickly turn into a gas. That gas expands in the barrel that it's in, and eventually so much pressure builds up that it forces our shot to exit out or fire towards the enemy ship. Now our Alka-Seltzer cannon works pretty much in the exact same way. We have a container that has one closed end and one open. We have Alka-Seltzer, which is serving as our gunpowder, which will quickly turn from a solid to a gas once we introduce the water. And then we also have a lid. Now our lid actually acts as both the wad to keep everything together um, as well as our cannonball. Oh, I actually see that the sun is shining now. So I'm gonna head outside to finish up this activity. I hope you join me. All right, so we are outside in my yard and it's now time to actually fire a Salsa cannon. So I'm gonna take our container. I'm gonna put half a tablet of our Alka Salsa in, fill it halfway up with water. And then I'm gonna quickly cap it and take five steps back. One, two, three, four, <laughs> and there you go, that's how you fire an Elka Seltzer cannon. Let's take a closer look at that pressure building up in the container. As you can see, it happened just the way that it does on USS Constitution. Where there was pressure that was building up in our container and eventually it caused the cap to pop off. Now, if you wanna experiment a little bit, you can try different amounts of alka seltzer different amounts of water, see what that does to the force and pressure that builds up in your container. But it's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video with me.